Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today I'm here to do my October TBR. So in the month of October, oh, it's going to be a crazy month, guys. You, Oh, this month is going to be insane. I am back at college for the fall semester, so I have that going on. And on top of that, I will be preparing for NaNoWriMo, which happens next month, this entire month. So it's going to be one interesting month as far as my reading, to say the least. But with that being said, I am hopeful that I will get at least half of the books on my TBR done this month. I have a total of 11 books to talk about today, so let's just jump right in and get started. So the first book, or the first two books I should say, are both books I am currently reading. The first of which being The Serpent Shadow, which is book three in the King Chronicles trilogy by Rick Riordan. Rick Riordan is the author of the Percy Jackson series as well as the Heroes of Olympus series, both of which I have read in the past and absolutely loved. This is a trilogy that follows Egyptian mythology. Uh, in the first book, this follows two main characters, Carter and Sadie, who are brother and sister. In the first book, they find out that they are descendants of pharaohs, and then their father unleashes some of the ancient gods of Egypt, and mayhem ensues from there. This is not Rick Riordan's best work by far, but I still have enjoyed every single book in the series so far, so I'm excited to see where it wraps up. I'm about halfway done with this book right now, so I'm excited to continue on. The other book I'm currently reading right now is Wonder Woman Warbringer by Lee Bardugo. Now if you guys have seen my most recent library haul, which I'll have linked down below, you would know I was very hesitant going into this book for a couple of different reasons. To make it short, number one, I've never read but a book by this author. Lee Bardugo is the author of the Grisha Trilogy as well as the Six of Crows Duology, both of which I've heard nothing but great reviews about and I do plan on reading those books in the future. The other reason I'm very hesitant going into this book is because I saw the Wonder Woman movie back when it came out in May and I was not a fan of it at all. So I was very nervous and I didn't even originally plan on picking this up. But I heard so many good things about it, that's why I decided to pick it up. And I'm only a couple hours into this and I am really enjoying it so far, so hopefully I will continue to enjoy it. The next book on my TBR for this month is actually a classic and that is Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland is a book I have wanted to read for years now. I'm a huge fan of every single adaptation that I've seen of Alice in Wonderland. And I wanted to check out the original works for quite a while, like I said. So I am very excited to see if I enjoy the original work as much as I have with the, the adaptations that have been made. The next two books I have to talk about were sent to me for review by the authors. Thank you to both of these authors for sending me these books. The first of which being The Eye of Nefertiti, which is by Maria Luisa Ling. I read the first book in this series last month, which is called The Pharaoh's Cat. I really enjoyed the first book. I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought it was going to. And this is a follow-up novel that is a companion novel, but so you don't necessarily have to read the first book. But it follows some of the same characters that we do see in the first book. And so far, the series is fantastic. It was a very big surprise to me about how much I enjoyed it, like I said. So I'm excited to see where the story goes. And the other book I have for review for this month is The Dark Net by Benjamin Percy. This is a science fiction dystopian novel that follows four characters who are all bounty hunters and they pretty much are set up as a team and are put into this arena and are pretty much made to battle out to the death. This sounds like a perfect Halloween read. I am very excited to dive in. Not only does the synopsis interest me when I first picked this up, but also the author is one of the writers for Teen Titans, which is one of my favorite TV shows of all time. So like I said, I can't wait to read this. It's a perfect Halloween read and what can be better for this time, for, for this time of year than this book. The next book I have on my TBR for this month is The Sword of Summer, which is book one in the Beyond the Chase and the Gods of Asgard trilogy by Rick Riordan. I believe this is going to be a trilogy. I could be wrong on that. This is Rick Riordan's Norse mythology series. And I have, again, have heard nothing but fantastic things about this series. And this takes place in Boston, which is my hometown, so even better. <laughs> The next two books I have on my TBR are both books I mentioned in my top 10 books I want to read in 2017 video, which I'll have linked down below as well. The first of those being The Fifth Way by Rick Yancey. This is a book I have heard a lot of mixed things about on my time on booktube, so I don't know much about it. I know it's a science fiction book, and the movie just came out last year, which looked fantastic, and I have heard great things about that. So I'm excited to dive in. 
And the other book that is actually very, very popular here on BookTube, and I think everybody has read besides me, is The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. This is a historical fiction novel that takes place during World War II and follows a young girl as she is kind of trying to survive during World War II. Again, it sounds fantastic. I believe it's told from Jeff's perspective, so that's interesting. Again, can't wait to pick it up. The next book is one I have had on my TBR for a few months now since it came out, and that book is Little Monsters by Kara Thomas. This is a book I will be buddy reading with my good friend Lisa over at Books and Smiles. I will have her channel linked down below. You guys know how much I love her. She's a great friend. Please go check her out, and we have decided to buddy read this. We have both had this on our radar for a few months since it came out, like I said. And this is a mystery novel that follows our main character who, she moves to this small town and she forms a small group of friends, but one by one her friends are killed off or go missing after a party. So that sounds interesting. I'm not a huge mystery lover, so I definitely want to give this a try and see if I enjoy it. The next book I have on my TBR is one of my most anticipated releases of this year, and that is Warcross by Marie Liu. Warcross is a science fiction novel that follows our main character who is a bounty hunter, and in the near future there is this game called Warcross, which is pretty much a virtual reality game, and our main character is a bounty hunter, like I said, and she is sent in and she is trying to hack the international championship of Warcross, and mayhem ensues. So sounds really great. I've heard nothing but great things since this came out, so I'm definitely excited to pick this up. And the last book I have on my TBR for this month is one that, this is the one I'm most nervous going into besides the Wonder Woman book, because this world has been one of my most love-hate relationships of all time, so with that being said, that, this is The Bane Chronicles by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brown, and Maureen Johnson. This is a series of novellas that goes along with the Mortal Instruments series. Uh, I was not, I'm not a huge fan of Mortal Instruments to be honest, and I have started this book on audio and I loved it from what I read on audio. But again, I'm really nervous because of my love hate relationship with the Mortal Instruments, but hopefully, I will enjoy it. And that is all I'm going to have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. I'll be sure to have any videos mentioned in this video linked down below if you guys would like to check those out. I'll also have all my social media linked down below if you guys would like to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, or my blog. They are all linked down below as always. And I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!